In this video, we're going to examine how to write non-quadratics in quadratic form. What this means is you may have a trinomial that is not a quadratic. You know, quadratics are of the form ax squared plus bx plus c. They're not quadratics, but they can be written as one. And to help us see what this means, I'm going to make a list of different trinomials that can be written in quadratic form. And we're going to try and find the pattern. The first one is x squared plus x. And I'll just put plus c. I have x to the fourth plus x squared plus c. I have x to the sixth plus x cubed plus c. And I have x to the eighth plus x to the fourth plus c. You know, this pattern will continue, but we need to figure out what is the pattern to determine if a trinomial can be written in quadratic form, even though it's not a quadratic. And the key is, look at your exponent. So let me put the exponent 1 there. What is the pattern in each one? You know, how does 1 relate to 2? How does 2 relate to 4? How does 3 relate to 6? How does four relate to eight? You know, what's the pattern? And if I think about it, this middle exponent is always half of the degree of the first exponent. And that's the pattern you need to look for. If a trinomial can be written in quadratic form, then what's gonna happen is your middle exponent is gonna be half of the first exponent. So whenever you're trying to determine can it be written in quadratic form, that's the pattern that you look for. Now to solve non-quadratics as quadratics first, since we're dealing with factoring, we're going to look for a GCF, always when we deal with factoring. And then we're going to try and factor it as a quadratic, which means we may end up using our just product and sum technique, or you may end up using your AC method. So let's take a look at our first example to kind of see how do we solve it. And I'm going to relate it to a basic quadratic for us. If we have x to the fourth minus 17x squared plus 16 equals 0, is this a trinomial that can be written in quadratic form? First, let's look at our exponents. The first exponent is 4. The middle one is 2. You know, is the middle exponent half of the leading exponent? And the answer is yes. And so I know this can be written in quadratic form. And so far, that's all we've discussed is how to tell that. Now let's look at how do we solve it. If it can be written in quadratic form, it should follow the same pattern as if this were quadratic. So I'm going to use a different variable besides x so we can see the factoring technique. You know, if this were a quadratic, it would be y squared minus 17y plus 16. That we know how to factor. We know that means, you know, product sum, 16 is our product and negative 17 is our sum. So numbers that multiply to give us 16 and add to give us negative 17 is negative 16 and negative 1. Now I can factor this. It's no different than factoring this. And again, we have to look for the pattern. You know, y squared, and when I break it apart, you know, this is really y to the first and y to the first. So again, let's look for the pattern. How does the degree, how does the first exponent relate to the exponents in each factor? Well, we know they add up to it, but let's look at this. What we do is we split the degree in half. You know, the two gets split in half, one and one. The same is going to happen here. If it can be written in quadratic form, which we already verified, what's going to happen is that fourth power is going to be split in half. So the fourth power is going to be split in half to be x squared and x squared. And the rest of the numbers are just the same. You follow the regular factoring technique. They multiply to give you 16, add to give you negative 17, and that's negative 16 and negative 1. And now we finish factoring. To finish factoring here, we can go ahead and do our difference of squares here. 
you know, x squared and 16 are perfect squares. So it's x plus 4, x minus 4. If I were to look at this one, x squared minus 1, it's another difference of squares. x plus 1, x minus 1. And to solve, remember you said each one equal to 0. So x plus 4 equals 0, x equals negative 4, x minus 4 equals 0, x equals positive 4. So I get x equals plus or minus 4. And x plus 1 equals 0, x equals negative 1, x minus 1 equals 0, x equals positive 1. And there's my solution. So that's the technique for factoring a non-quadratic in quadratic form. You have to look for the patterns. First, you have to see, can it be factored like quadratic? And that means that the middle exponent has to be half of the first one. Second, if that is true and you can factor it, you need to remember you split the leading exponent in half in each factor. So x to the fourth would be split into x squared and x squared. So look for this pattern. Go back to the video, develop your understanding before moving forward on to the next couple of examples.